This is going to be the solar panel recharging test. So I did a video already on the camera battery life on the ring. And I think I said, what was that? 16 days I got at full resolution, full everything battery, exhausting, wasting settings for the ring. Uh, sorry, I said doorbell ring outdoor camera. So what I've decided to do is actually now, since it's at zero, uh, it's totally depleted, the batteries. I'm going to try to see how long it takes to recharge with the solar panel. So everything's set up and I'm gonna try it now just to see how um, well it does to charge from nothing to see if the actual solar panel can bring this back to 100% at both batteries and how long it takes, uh, you know, to do that and how well it works. So usually the battery, I mean the battery, the sun, it's usually up there from, I'm gonna say about one or two until sunset, as you can see it's set already. And I'm gonna see, uh, so we, I get direct sunlight. So I'm gonna see how long it takes for this, uh, solar panel to fully charge this camera it's gonna be interesting all right let's see now I'll show you on the application now how dead it is and show you that the solar panel I don't know if the solar panel right now because there is no Sun will show charging but let's just double check I'm sorry I didn't do this part of the video earlier but I hope you take my word for it so let's run down the charging the ring camera and all information about the ring camera and all information about the solar panel I'm using will be below so I'm pretty impressed I am very very impressed so let's just recap so to my knowledge if I am making sure I, I jotted this down so it should be correct on March 27th, 2021, this camera here was at 2%. It couldn't even do a live view. Couldn't get anything coming up at all. And I, the next two days, which I should have videotaped, I was getting one and two and 3% uh, increments of charging because there was no sun. The very next day, I believe, uh, after the 27th or the day after, it started to rain. Both days were cloudy, and it did tell me that there was not enough sun to, or actually it was telling me it didn't see nothing. The camera was totally dead. I could see the incremental charging of the battery, but nothing was happening. I was at 10%, either the 28th or the 29th, and it still was not enough to do a live view. It wasn't until the 30th, March 30th, 2021, which is three days later, that I was up to 20%, actually 23%, but we'll uh, mark it at about 20% before I can get a live view. That's, I believe, the amount of battery life you do need uh, on the battery to get a live view. So it's at 20%. So within three days, I believe that if it wasn't cloudy those two days, it probably would have only taken 24 hours to get to 20% charge. On one battery, I should say. Not both batteries, on one battery. So we're now today, March 31st, which is the next day from 20%. Yesterday was at 20. And it's about the same time, it's the afternoon, and we're going to check the battery charging for the solar status. Now, I didn't even need to do anything. It automatically recognized that it was connected to a solar panel. And the very next day, we now have, it was only showing one battery because the other one was completely depleted. But I get, and yesterday it was showing no batteries at all. Uh, let me see if I can bring that up. This is a screenshot I took and as you can see, it was at 10% and it still, it only showed one battery and it couldn't give you a live view. So this is what I meant, it was only one battery charging. Yesterday when I was doing the 20%, this is the screenshot. 
of yesterday. So it was at 24, but it was only showing one battery and it was nothing else underneath. So it wasn't showing the status of the solar panel charging or anything. And uh, I could get, I was getting a live view with just one battery at 24%. Uh, but I'm gonna narrow it down to 20%. You're gonna need 20% battery life to get at least a live. The very next day, I increased that battery life to 10% and then the other one starting to charge, the second battery. When that occurred this afternoon when I checked it, you can now see all the information in regards to the battery itself. So it's, uh, it is charging, it is working. I'm really impressed. Uh, it's great because now I don't have to worry about battery life or anything. And if you have these outdoor cameras, my own suggestion, now this is not a ring solar panel itself. Like I said, I think I, I saved about $20 each. I got them for about $30 each. And I think the ring certified solar panel ones are around $50 each. So I wanted to try a different brand to save a few dollars and to see if it, you know, works. And it seems to work just fine. No issues whatsoever. If you have the ring camera, you may not even need two batteries. You may just need one battery with the solar panel. Uh, my opinion. Again, I'm no ring expert. I'm no camera expert. I'm just giving you my own real world uh, experience. So again, I'm and what I'm gonna do is, like I said, March 27th was his day of the start of the charging. I'm gonna wait until uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to wait until both batteries are at a hundred percent and see how long that takes. So I hope I get a bunch of sunny days. Uh, it's raining today again. I believe, uh, my wife told me I'm actually away from the home, but she was uh, telling me that it's, uh, raining and clouding or it did rain. Uh, so I'm hoping that uh, we can get a nice, bright, sunny day and we can get these two at 100% really quickly. This is the second camera and both of them at 100%. This one is the one that I have started it with the solar panel and, and it's still working great and they're both at 100%. You know, the nice thing is that if this solar panel ever stops working, or it gets cloudy, I still have a guarantee of at least a month of battery life with these at my settings. Uh, you can get longer settings if you lower the video length of uh, when it goes off and the lights and all that other stuff. I have it at the highest setting. And uh, it's about, a, it probably it will be about a month's worth of, uh, of life with my settings. I don't have it at the highest. I lowered everything a little bit because I was only getting two weeks at everything set at, at its highest with two batteries. But at a amount like HDR and 30 seconds of video and all that other stuff, uh, I and the lights going on, I do have about, about a month's worth of battery life with these things. This is the live view of the actual camera itself. So you can see it's working. Let me just show you, so you know, let me go here and go here. As you can see, that's the same one. So I just showed you the live view. Everything's working just fine. So we're gonna wait. I'll end the video when it's at 100% and I'll tell you exactly what date it did that. And I'm hoping that within the next uh, I'm hoping that it's going to be a total of seven to 10 days to get it back to hundred percent. So let's see what happens. I'll be back with my final summation in regards to the uh, amount of time it would take to fully charge this thing in a real world scenario or situation. Today is April 14th and 20, April 14th, 2021. And I'm finally done with the test. Camera's live and I'm gonna go to the batteries. And there it is, 100% each battery. So it took the, it took 18 days to fully charge the battery. I really do think that if I would have had continuous sunny days for about seven, 
to 10 days, I would have definitely had 100% in, in, that, in those days. I wouldn't have taken 18 days. I, I had uh, a lot of rain, a lot of cloudy days. Uh, I might have gotten 2% charge, but if I was in, let's say, sunny California or in Florida or in Texas, or even in Puerto Rico or some other sunny area, uh, I would have shot for maybe seven days. So again, what would have happened, what happened was I, I was testing the camera to see how long it took to charge the ring camera to 100% from, uh, it was 2% on March 27th, one battery. The other one was completely depleted. One was 2% on March 27th, 2021. And I was going to bring in the batteries and charge them, but I decided, let me see how long it would take or if the solar panel can actually charge those batteries from that low amount of uh, battery uh, percentage. So I wanted to see if it can actually charge it. So on March 28th or the 29th, that single 2% battery went up to 10%. The other one was still depleted. On March 30th, on March 30th, uh, on March 30th, one battery was at 23%. The other one was still depleted, but I was able to get live view. That was another thing. Anything below, I think, 20% charge, you can't. You can't see the battery at all, nothing. You you just can't see it. I'm, I'm sorry, you can't see the video. You can't live stream, you can't view live video, it won't come up. Or it won't even record. On April 10th, that one, I'm sorry, March 31st, that one battery went up to 34%, then the second battery started charging and that second battery went up to 10% and live view was still working, of course. And live view continued to work. Anything above 20% on one battery, it worked. April 10th, 90% on that one battery. The second battery, 74. April 11th, 88%. The other one went up to 100%. On April 14th, today, 18 days later, both batteries at a, are at 100% and you know, live view works, of course, as you'll see here. So it did it, it charged both batteries. I'm very impressed with those solar panels. So you can, uh, according to my real world test, non-scientific test, I'm no expert, just a regular guy trying some things out. You can charge your the ring camera, the model that I purchased, which is the ring spotlight camera, model number 8X81X7WENO, the ring spotlight camera. And the solar panel is, uh, let me get that in full. The solar panel, I can't pronounce the name, but it's the W A S S. E-R-S-T-E-I-N. I'm spelling it out because I can't say the name. I think it's Wasserstein. W-A-S-S-E-R-S-T-E-I-N. It's a two watt, five volt charging solar panel. And they work really well, each solar panel for each camera. Uh, I don't think you can split them. You probably could, but then you're gonna just get trinkle charges and it's gonna be modifying the actual item. I'm just gonna use it the way it came, one for each camera, and they're both doing very well charging. All right, so I, I hope this video helps and uh, uh, you know, this actually answered the question for me, can the solar panel charge it from zero to 100? And it pretty much did. It went from 2% to 100, but it did it. All right, so I hope you liked the video. I hope it helps. Thank you.